Today I'm going to talk about the Southwest credit card. I'll talk about my experience with it, some of the logistics, the current offer, and the pros and cons of this credit card. I've had the Southwest credit card for about a year now, and I'm super happy with it. The offer that I signed up with was 40,000 points. I've saved most of them over the past year, but I have done one full round trip from Los Angeles to Portland that was completely free with my points. I've saved a lot of the points up and also have gained more by spending more money on the card. I'd really like to go to Costa Rica this next year with my points, as well as a couple round trip US trips that I can get, all get completely free with my points. I love accumulating Southwest points on things that I would spend money on anyway, like groceries, gas, bills, etc. And then I get even more points when I spend money on Southwest flights. I would definitely recommend the Southwest credit card. Right now, the current offer that I have for you guys in the description below is that if you spend $1,000 in the first three months, you'll get 40,000 bonus points. And right now it's winter of 2017, so if this offer does change, I will update it for you guys below. To give you an idea of what I mean by points, I did some quick searches on the website and I'll share with you some of the average fares in points. For example, Los Angeles to Seattle is 10,000 points round trip. New York to Atlanta is 12,000 points round trip. Dallas to Aruba, 22,000 points round trip. Portland to New York City, 20,000 points round trip. So you can see how with this 40,000 points bonus offer, you could get up to four round trips, smaller US trips, or two international trips. Or you could even use your points and take a second person to possibly an international destination. You can also play around yourself with this if you go to the Southwest website and find the destination finder. Depending on where you fly from and what time and what day, you might even get some better deals than we talked about. I would say the promotion offer is the best reason for you to sign up for the card because it means multiple free trips for you. Some of the other benefits of the Southwest credit card include two points per dollar spent on Southwest Airlines and hotel and car rental partners, and one point per one dollar spent on all other purchases. There are no foreign transaction fees. This is something that I really liked when I visited Italy recently this year because I was able to use my card and there weren't any hidden fees. You can also save 3% on all international purchases. Some other benefits include roadside service, travel insurance, and an alert if anyone steals your card. Some reasons that I like Southwest Airlines in general, one is that you can cancel a flight up to 10 minutes before the flight, and you don't end up losing your money, you end up getting this back as Southwest credit that you can use within the next year. So what I do is when I see good fares, I buy them right away, and then if my schedule changes, I just cancel them and then use that as credit later. One of my favorite things about Southwest is that there's no bag fees. So you can check up to two bags for free, which really helps you save money on these cheap flights. There's also a rapid rewards dining program. I haven't done it yet, but I want to look into it. You get points for dining at certain restaurants and also certain hotel and car rentals. Another benefit is there are special VIP events in certain destinations that you can go to as a Southwest credit card holder. Some other logistics about the Southwest card. Every year it costs $99 on an annual fee, but you end up getting this money back because every year on your anniversary you get 6,000 Southwest points. So basically you're just paying for this back yourself. Also your points will never expire and there are no blackout dates. Southwest flies to several US destinations and they're even adding Hawaii in 2018. They also fly to several international destinations including all over Mexico, Aruba, Belize, Costa Rica, Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Jamaica. Some of the cons include, it takes a while to accumulate points on regular purchases other than Southwest Airlines, but this would be similar for many of the credit cards, and there aren't as many international destinations as there are on other airlines. One of the biggest cons I should say about any credit card that you really need to be careful about is spending more than your means. And this kind of goes back to basic finances, but you really should be careful about spending more money than you have. Some final thoughts. Definitely use your good financial sense and judgment, but I would recommend the Southwest credit card to you. Check out that link below and let me know if you have any questions about all this. I'm happy to help you guys and will reply to every single comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more travel videos. I'll see you soon.